We're in the Devine Galleries and um, we're, we're in the sort of middle of a rather complex sort of production of a, a new film work. The idea here is to, to sort of create a, a collapse, a sort of historical collapse to sort of, in some sense, to tell the story of this space in, in, in eight minutes of film. to take artworks that have been shown here over a very long period and to sort of force them to coexist for a moment in, in the space again. So it's like a kind of haunting in a way. It's a sort of a ghost story somehow, I suppose. It's a kind of combination of, of things which exist in the Tate collection. So those are things which are actually just kind of wheeling in and installing. And then there are the other works that we couldn't get hold of, so we've found different ways of sort of recreating those, those works for the film. One of the works is a, a, actually a work that no longer exists by Fiona Banner. And we're going to recreate in CGI, in a computer, this amazing chrome-plated Jaguar, which lay sort of upturned at one end of the galleries. Martin Creed's runner will also be recreated. We're working kind of rather long nights in the calm and the quiet. We have uh, probably about 25 people involved in just this part of the project and then it goes on to post-production and there's probably another 25 people and then I sort of sit around biting my nails on a and, uh, in the corner. This motion control technology that we're using, it's a, an incredible way to sort of collate time and space in, in, in a single sort of linear um, film narrative. It is a sort of time machine in a funny sort of way, the Milo. I suppose as, a, as an artist I'm always interested in how spaces have, you know, a kind of history. They are sort of haunted by previous works. I mean, I've been coming to this space since I was a kid. And so there are all these kind of half-remembered images there. A space is never fresh. It's never completely a blank canvas. So I thought to really sort of take that on and start to use some of those, um, those images that were floating around. They're all things that have been there at one time in their lives. So we're sort of just putting them back where they were originally. Once we've sort of shot all of the raw footage, that then gets sort of spliced together to make a kind of continuous loop. I always like to sort of, I don't know, try something new and test a new way of working, I suppose, and so it seemed like a good opportunity to, to do that.